Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 35 degree Thursday, the 19th of March. It's about 37 right now. The Kai Kai, she's in that. I stand next to this bush, and she's going, "Who is that? Is your eyesight getting weak on you, there, old gal?" <laughs> Kai. <laughs> anyway, not rainy seems nice i don't it seems like that's a fog layer more than anything else don't even know what the weather's supposed to do today i think it's supposed to rain at some point but uh other than that welcome to thursday well there's a little woman yes i'm that woman that wasn't a it was dry yeah it wasn't a sunny no it was dry it wasn't crazy yeah you know so that's all good yeah it was just kind of you and i shooting the bull and down the road. Told my life and what <laughs> the crazy things we come up with. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mama, it's Thursday. Yep. It's going to get in here. Bust out the day. All Heck right. Yeah. All righty. You have a good day. You do the same. You <laughs> Love you. See you. Bye. Bye. Good old Optimate. This is just one of those ones you Honda sells them to. You know, you've seen, you seen them in the shop there, some of that Quad Boss or whatever that company is, the black and yellow one. Man, I think it got really hot yesterday. It's weird. I, you know, doing testing and stuff on there, I used that battery down. I thought I'd charge it back up and took more than I thought. That test, that charger got really hot. Told you guys about the spoke ordeal with that one. I haven't looked at this one yet, but I forgot the, because for a while you couldn't get the uh, cross spoke wheels for the R9Ts, but uh, they are available. I think it's because they, uh, you know, they were inverted forks before. But anyway, this one, believe it or not, has the uh, bulletin as well. Where are these things crawling out from? Or maybe that bulletin expanded or something. Who knows? That happens sometimes. But the scary thing is the battery is really weak and possibly bad. You guys ever taken a battery out of an R9T before? Yeah, the whole gas tank has to come off. You can see it. It's sitting right there like, oh, no problem. You can get the battery. Like, no problem. Nope. And all these brackets have to come out of the way. It's nuts what you got to go through to put a battery in one of those. Especially when you're staring at it right there. Like, can I cut a hole in there and just slide it out? Nope. It's so buried that the jump port on it is sitting right here on a post. And this is your ground. So you connect your ground there and then the, take the cover off the post. And that's how you jump these things. Just when I'm, say, when I'm saying jump... Let me remind you of something. If you ever jump your motorcycle, it is okay to use a car battery, but the automobile cannot, under any circumstance, can it be running. The car needs to be off, 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 off. You're just using the battery. That's it. Not the battery while it's being charged by a crazy charging system in an automobile. Yeah. Yeah. Thousands of dollars of damage could potentially happen. That's with any motorcycle. BMWs, I definitely wouldn't do it. These things like a rolling cyborg. They got so many computers and whiz bangy do flingies. So you know that beautiful, beautiful 2017 or 18, the uh, GS Rally. The guy's got it all kitted out. Just the nicest stuff. Really tastefully done. This is his 1250 RT. He, um, so he bought that uh, F750 GS. He just loves that thing. He says he can't stay off of it. I'm going, I was telling him yesterday, he says, well, I'm just going to drop this thing, the RT off. He, I think he wants to sell it too. He just rides the 750 and the 1200 more than anything. But anyway, I was telling him, I said, you know, every time I ride, you know, F700, F800, F750 or 850, especially 750 for some reason. I don't know, my heart's all in that thing. There's something about those things. 
it's just such a fun bike. You just look, you know, it's kind of one of those things you just look for a reason. Very accessible, you know, if it's in your shop, it's light. Unplug the tender, roll the thing out the door and go. You know, they warm up quick, the engine's small, so if you're taking commuter type rides, it's not to a level of like a scooter where they warm up super fast, but they warm up way faster in that big old box or 1250 or his uh, some or 1200 GS. Yep, he's a true blood BMW guy. So I think it it's at low miles. It's only like 3,000 miles. So uh, and I'm sure the computer will just pull up an annual. So we'll they'll probably suggest an oil change and a brake flush, and that's probably about it. And then all the usual inspections. I love that people go, all you're doing is changing oil in it. Why can't I just do that at my house and save money? Have you ever looked at the list? We go through that list. We're not just changing oil and taking your money and sending you on the way. If you have any morals whatsoever, you need to check everything, especially on a high-tech thing like that, spiders, any of these things. You got to go through the list. That's why... We have a copy of that list and we literally hand check it. And I've been doing this for how many years now? 42 years, is that right? 42 years, yeah. And uh, I will still go through that checklist and go, dang, I didn't check the reservoir bottle, there'll be something. It happens. You'd be surprised how often I go through, think I got everything, going through, just going through my list. Because I kind of do it at the end because I get the thing all dirty. I wash my hands when I'm done. And, uh, you know, I glance at it sitting there and you think you got everything. You'd be surprised how many times I look in there and I go, thank God I got that check sheet. I didn't check that. So, yeah, not just an oil change. Unless you request just an oil change. You're getting way more than an oil change. You guys are just waving a wand over and changing oil and charging me a bunch of money. Maybe somebody... Not here. You guys missed the great fun. I haven't done one of these crossbow recall things in a long time. <laughs> Got through her though. That's a whole lot of spokes. Boy, that is ding. I mean, that's, that's nice. Listen to that thing. Wee, even on that wheel would have you know going by the ding test would have been fine it's amazing how much room how much i was able to turn it you go through procedure go outside spoke three newton meters inside spoke three millimeters flip the wheel do the same thing on the other side and then while you're still on that side you go back through and do it at five newton meters uh, that's not very much. That's a crazy amount on a spoke. But yeah, came out perfect. Got the front to do tomorrow. And uh, I'm heck bent to make this battery supply. Oh yeah, look at her. She's at point three. Ah, she'll be a liver. But I think we, the health was low. And uh, I think the guy's already okay to battery anyway. So that'd be the best thing to do. But you gotta take the tank and everything off to get to it. It's such a bummer. I think I talked about that earlier. Well, yeah, it's about time to roll out of here, OR90. You gonna be sitting here when I get back? Oh, sweet old gal. <laughs> All right. Boom, we're in Toledo. So the price hasn't changed since that initial big jump. Hasn't changed. 479, 499, 509. Next time we drive to Acre, we gotta fill it up. Hot double mighty. <laughs> Did rain on us a little bit, just for about, I don't know, three or four miles. And other than that, it's been just dry out here. Been very nice. Look at that up there. So the last two stops was fifty dollars and sixty cents. Fifty dollars and fifty-five saved oh, five cents in I that. I am proud of you, Hubba Hub. Last three hundred miles, you ought to be real proud. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Oh, my, that looks like that rain. That rain is coming up on us. Yeah. Let's escape. Better hurry. Well, hello there, my little girly girls. What the heck just made a pop sound over here? Like something settling. You guys cooling off? You guys sneaking out when I'm not around? <laughs> like the dogs out messing around? <laughs> Man, these longer days and thinking about the nice warm weather that's going to be around the corner. Although it is only March, it'll, it'll happen fast. It's crazy. When, especially when you think we're only basically three months from summer solstice. And then it's going to start rolling back the other direction. That ain't even right. <laughs> oh, man. I had a gentleman I was talking with. He's got, a, I think, a 2021 F3. And he does not have the white sprocket on it. Or I think it was a 21. And, um... Anyway, uh, I think, yeah, definitely 21 because it was built in uh, March of 21. And uh, I know the RTs, and I just assume the F3s as well, you know, some, the, what they call the late model RT, 21 RTs, anything after January of 21 had the all the updates and they all have the white sprocket. But, um, but they probably still had some of the, the sprockets that are good. Um, anything, I think it was, oddly enough, March again, March of 19 are the sprockets that are fixed. The white ones are for the RTs because of their aerodynamics. They go through the air so smoothly, a sound that's always been there, always has. There's, nothing's changed. It's always been there, especially with the 1330s. It's uh, more prevalent with them because of their... Um, you know, the heavy Kevlar and the belt and stuff like that is the uh, air being captured between the cogs of the of the belt and the, you know, the teeth or the sprocket holes, so to speak, of the of the front pulley. That's a real thing. BRP literally has a division that deals with noises and weird things like that. A whole group of people, that's all they do is investigate that stuff. So. Whatever they did with that white sprocket reduces. I I still hear it a little bit on the um, the new RTs. I you remember when I got the twenty twenty the chalk white? I absolutely loved it. Remember I was going past old yard birds there and and uh, see I'm still in yeah you're in Chehalis there not in Centralia. But anyway, uh, going by Yardbirds, I go, listen to that thing. I'm trying to figure out where the sound's coming from. I just hear this whistle. Sounds like an old CB antenna going through the air. I love sounds like that. The sounds that motorcycles make, uh, it gives them character, and I just love that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, some people will cry about anything. Well, they didn't like that sound, so um, enough people cry. You know, it's funny, it's kind of an older crowd that rides the RTs and stuff. That part of your hearing is long gone. How are you even hearing that? <laughs> but anyway, so it got fixed. That's what the white sprocket's about. As far as, you know, the, the way it mounts to the um, shaft and everything, all that is still the same as what the March of 19 sprocket, the, the one that uh, fixed the issue so, and, you know, if you happen to replace one, like I was showing the other day, everything has to be clean. You need to use that special Kluber grease, kind of a pasty grease. Got to do it. If you don't, it will not work. You will be pulling that thing apart again. <laughs> it will eject something about that pasty stuff. It's it's a must-have. It's not that expensive. I think it's really, really expensive when I got one of the first tubes of it. And then my tube disappeared, and so I just had Kelly order me another one because don't know. I have no idea. Somebody probably thought it was something else, and 
well, whatever, the tube's gone. So I bought another one and I think it was only, I think it was under 20 bucks actually. So yeah. And, uh, you, you'd be surprised how little you use that tube lasts a long time. I did quite a few sprockets. So did Ryan with that one tube I had. That was a shop supply thing. The second one, the one I showed you, I paid for. And, um, anyway. So, I'm just coming out here, making sure everything's still here. That, uh, you know, these, uh, they get a little wild out here at night and want to see if they moved around or scratched each other or, you know, parked in the wrong place where you can catch them, you know, see where they, they didn't come back and put themselves in the same spot. You gotta watch these things, you know, they have, Little minds of their own, these little characters. But anyway, I'm going to do a little goodbye with the woman. That'll be it for the day. We'll talk to y'all here in just a moment. Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> it's only been about 15, 20 minutes since I was chit-chatting with y'all out there. I had to go out there and make sure the girls weren't roaming around while we are yeah. not paying attention to them, you know. Looking for those little tricks like they didn't park themselves in the right spot. Yeah. Ferdy had to really look at her. She's I pretty know, wild. She likes to wander. Yeah. She gets restless in there. Come in there and she's sitting there backwards or something like that. <laughs> uh huh. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. You Sneaking out, out of the house at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's, nice. it's not raining at the moment. I hear, know. The, I hear the little chirpers. Yeah, the little chirpy fro frogs back there. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, well, some of those nights that were super, I mean, crazy cold. Them frogs were out there. I know. Like, it. where are you at that you're comfortable somewhere? enough that you're out there singing? I know it. Yeah. <coughs> you certainly think they were frozen. Especially mm -hmm. since they tend to be kind of wet and slimy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm cold and I got layers on. Yeah. You just have little slimy skin. Yeah. I think it's like 47 or something. It feels quite nice, actually. Yeah. It's nice right now. Yeah. Yeah. I love hearing the sound of wildlife out in the wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway. I think I've said enough for today. <laughs> well, gonna... something we always forget to mention. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on Ke the mail call. Yeah, Kevin and Nicole. Kevin and Nicole sent got, us a yeah. wedding invitation in in Illinois. Yes, I'm so happy for you both. Yeah, pretty good chance. We never say never, though. Literally, yeah. never say never. You just never know. But we received that several weeks ago. I know. Keep it's forgetting very sweet to of you. say say that. I like that mention when you guys send stuff. Always remember after we shut off the camera. Yeah, Kelly will go. Well, you forgot we can't to say. Do it. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin Nicole. Yeah, and he's going to hitch up on the 29th of April. Yeah, 29th awesome. of April. Yeah, that's a nice time to get right before all the nice weather hits yeah, and everything. Be perfect. perfect. Thank you. All right, I reckon we're going to roll on that. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Thank you. And Leo says hello. <laughs> All right. All right. That'll do it. We'll see, see you, you in the morning. See you then. Bye bye now. <laughs> bye. Mm -hmm.